How's it going, boys? Welcome back to another controversial topic. A matter in Dota, you know, has been since the break of dawn, since the first day that Dota existed as a game. And I'm about to start some drama, boys, because I already know some some people are already down in the comments, probably gonna talk some shit about me right now as we speak. But it's okay because look, I will tell you. What I think about the situation. And my opinion matters because um, reasons, I guess. So, first of all, we're talking about no other than smurfing, boys. You, you already know. Everyone knows the drama around smurfing. The pros do it. Your mom does it. Your dad. Everyone you know does it. You fucking smurf. You probably have two accounts. Who knows? But look, here's the issue. People say smurfing is bad. But I'm, I'm going to break it down for you. And here's the thing about smurfing, all right? So as a player who is in like Divine slash Immortal, pretty much I'm, you know, I'm a five point some whatever KMMR. It is significantly easier to win a game if you are 2,000, 3,000 below your MMR. I can literally pick some kind of bullshit hero with a bullshit build and as long as I'm actually trying to win, I will win. That is, quote unquote, if I'm trying to win. Now, the thing about Dota that many people don't realize is that there is so many smurfs in Dota that you cannot even fucking count in your hand. I personally know professional players who have more than three to four accounts in the Immortal Bracket. And I'm not just talking about any Immortal Bracket. I'm talking about the rank top 100. I know there are pros out there that there's only 100 slots in the Immortal Bracket to begin with. Okay? And the more and those pro, quote-unquote, pro players, well, they're actually kind of pro players, they have, like, they already took up, like, five of those slots just by themselves. All these accounts you see... That you might be like, oh, this guy's uh rank number 27. This guy's rank number 40. This guy is 88. They're all the fucking same guy. And that guy is like rank 2 or some shit. So that's already one thing. Alright, if all the Smurf accounts are banned, you will just realize that Dota player just went bloop down the drain every time. Every time Valve bans players, they lose a lot of players. Which is kind of facts. And two, um, you know, it will take... It will kind of take longer to get Q games, to be honest, because people are there's not that many people playing the game. And to be honest, if there's not a lot of Smurfs, a lot of times you would take a long time to Q. But you, you know, you might argue, hey, at least I would wait longer Q time just to get a better quality game. Now, here's the thing, boys. Here's the thing. If you are, let's say, a Archon player or a Legend player, and you're playing against a Smurf, quote unquote, your Smurf. Who is like 2,000, 3,000 MMR above you. Now, why would he smurf? He is either smurfing to fuck around and not give a shit about the game at all. And which in turn means that he's kind of griefing the game. But then that means he's on the same level that you are. To a certain extent. If I'm playing some kind of bullshit hero, I can either grief myself or the enemy. Right? My team is griefed. The enemies are griefed. It does ruin the game. I'm not going to lie. It kind of does ruin the game. But most of the Smurfs actually play seriously. And if I were to tell you guys one thing. Is that if I were to play on Smurf. And I'm playing like absolute dog shit. I'm not even focused on the game. I'm still probably playing better than the enemy mid laner. Because I'm just like that much better at the game. You know, not not saying that this is like some kind of bragging rights or whatever, but this is true. If someone's just like 3,000, 4,000 MMR above you, he doesn't actually have to properly play the game to be better than you. Now, this is actually not a bad learning experience to a certain degree. Like, yeah, you're going to lose the game. But if you feel like if you lose a game, then you're like done with Dota. I mean, you're never going to improve. I, I mean, just go play on ranked. Probably on rank. You know why people don't play on rank? Because no one fucking tries in on ranked, and that's what makes it boring. No one likes to play on ranked unless if you're a casual gamer. Not too many people in the Dota community actually likes on ranked game. You see. So, with that being said, boys, this might take. I honestly think that smurfing is not gonna go away. It's gonna be here to stay. 
because you can make it's super difficult to create new accounts you can make it super difficult to like buy accounts whatever the people who are smurfing are still gonna find a way to smurf that's just that and smurfing might not be completely bad for the community because um you know you can practice right let's think about it like this you are the smurf obviously smurfers smurf because they want to play smurf games they want to feel good. They want to practice new heroes. They want to do whatever YouTube video they do. Every pro smurfs. There, there's not a single pro player that does not smurf out there. If there is a pro player that says they don't smurf, they're probably fucking lying to you. And they are factually incorrect. Um, Yeah, that's one thing. And the other one is that if you are on the receiving end of the smurf, one is that it wouldn't really affect your win-loss rate because... The chances of a smurf being on your team and the enemy team is the exact fucking same. Don't you dare try to fucking argue with me that it's somehow not on your team most of the time. Now, you might be like, hey, I'm not a smurf, so the chance of the smurf being on the enemy team is just high because I'm that one guy. Yeah, the math uh, kind of works out like that, but it doesn't actually happen that way because um, it's actually basically 50-50. Alright, it's close enough to 50-50 where it doesn't matter and you're not gonna see that many smurfs no smurfs no smurfs are gonna be in that low of a mmr that just like there's not that many smurfs that are bored to play in your fucking hurled brackets like it's not even that fun maybe once in a while to like have a good laugh but that's it now um another thing is that people might say hey smurfs ruin games when they teach you a lot of things because you actually improve it's like put it like this way boys if you were trying to improve as a player, would you not want to play with Miracle? Would you not want to play one of the best players out there? Once in a while, I mean, you're not going to see a Smurf every game. You're probably going to see him every five games, every ten games. You're going to play against the guy. He's going to teach you a lot of things. I would literally pay someone to 1v1 mid against a rank top 100 player if that's possible. I want to learn. I want to get fucking shit on. So I can learn from my mistakes. And now the Smurfs are giving you the opportunity for fucking free. Look, there you go. Another thing is that people say, oh, Smurfs don't play seriously. They grief. They do this because it's not their account. Oh, this argument is completely just like f completely uh, canceled by the fact that when I play on my Smurf, when I used to play on my Smurf, I don't even play on my Smurf that often. But when I did play on my Smurf, there has been more players griefing the game who are not smurfs compared to smurfs. Smurfs don't really grief games because they're not used to griefing the game. A lot of people are fucking Archon because they throw every other five games they play. They just destroy items AFK or buy a fucking Midas on CM. Okay? If you're a smurf and you're in like rank 1000 Immortal or something... The chances of you staying in that rank and you grief every other five games is pretty low. Even if you don't care, it's probably a natural feeling of, oh, I grief. This is how many games I grief. You kind of just like get used to not griefing. And you, and then you, there, it's just actually just facts. If you don't, if you grief often, you're going to keep griefing often. If you never grief, even if you wanted to grief, you don't resort to griefing most of the time. Now, there are exceptions. Everything has exceptions. But that, I mean, we're talking about big numbers here because that's kind of what matters. So, yeah, that's basically everything, boys. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. So, essentially, Smurfing is here to stay. And I don't think Valve is going to ban. I mean, they're not. First of all, I don't think they should ban every Smurf player. God forbid they ban their main account, then Dota would literally lose half of his player base in the span of a day. And God forbid if they uh, even bother to ban those players, because a lot of the pro players, they know the Valve knows they smurf. They actually know exactly who what account they're using, but they choose to not do anything. Because, as I said, it grows the player base, there's benefits to it. And in general... The people who cry about smurfing are the people who play ranked because they want to game MMR and they're losing all the MMR. If you're playing unranked, then why do you care? You're just playing Dota for fun, right? 
uh, if he's better than you, he's better than you. You're there to have fun. I mean, if you want to win to have fun, that's something. If you have to win to have fun, that means you're meant for ranked. I mean, you're playing ranked and you're not gaining MMR because there's a smurf in your game. First of all, the smurf cannot be in every single game you play. That's just straight up not possible. And two, you get to learn so you can actually get better and climb the ranks. Just be better than the smurf. Just straight up be better than the smurf. <laughs> it's actually that simple. But, you know, people can't really do that. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the Twitch, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon. Check out the anything and everything, boys. Have a very, very, very nice day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.